you have a teenager mm -hmm. and now you have a baby. I do. And what's that like and how's that balance? And we're talking about all boys and now here. I know. A little it's girl. evening out. How is that? It's great. It's a lot right now. I mean, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's, you know, it's, it's busy in the house. It's a lot and trying to juggle and manage and balance is a daily, you know, it's like a, it's like the family like huddles around and it's like everyone gets their strategy and then we're like, you know, hike, let's like, let's and do this. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's spread out, you know? Um, and, uh, but it's good. You know, it's when you have them, cause they're seven, seven, years apart. So Ryder seven from Bing and Bing seven from Ronnie, which means I've basically been having children my entire adult life. <laughs> As a father, how is Danny and how do you see him in a different light now? Oh you know, like yeah. Danny is the greatest. I feel like I hit the jackpot and his, a bit like his natural ability as a dad is just amazing to watch. Mm. Um, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's he's also just an incredibly supportive partner for me. Uh, that I've that's a a nice a nice thing to have. How did this whole deal come about with WW? I started Fabletics five years ago. It's an activewear company. It's all about health and wellness and leading an active lifestyle, and that really did became sort of the center of my, what's always been a passion of mine, which is, you know, trying to be as healthy as you can right, right. and live a ba more balanced lifestyle. Um, and uh, WW, Mindy, the CEO came to me and wanted to talk about, she was talking about this reimagining of Weight Watchers and, you know, where we are today in the world and how she sees the, her company and, um, and I never really knew anything about the program. So as she was talking to me about it, I realized I knew nothing about it. I mm -hmm. thought it was a completely different thing than what it actually is. And as we did kind of start sharing this passion together, I, I recognized that it was a great partnership for us because, um, it's what I'm passionate about. What they're doing is exactly what I always talk about, which mm -hmm. is flexibility and trying to understand what it is to be a healthy life. It's an ongoing journey, right? I mean, People say like, well, how do you, it's just your genes. And it's just, it's like, well, you can say that. And that's, you know, fine. But it's a practice like everything else. Everything that we do in life, whether it be my, practicing mindfulness, practicing body movement, practicing health, what goes in our mouth. I mean, these are things that you need to have, be mindful or have awareness and knowledge. We need support systems. We need community. The science backs up the program. And, uh, you know, my favorite statistic of it was the three the top three things that that work at ww uh number one you're going to lose weight we know that right we know you start eating healthy you lose weight but number two you sleep better that sounds really good <laughs> that Especially makes right me now, really right? happy uh, but number three it makes people feel happier and that as i get older if i have a platform if there's something i want to put out there it's to try to inspire people to know what makes them happy. I have seen you on a lot of red carpets. We've done a lot of interviews before, and you have never been a sad person, and you've also been one of the people who has always been best dressed. Look how look, she looks amazing. I've had a lot of luck, uh, but I've also worked really hard, and I'm a very dedicated type of person, and I'm uh, very ambitious uh, in everything I do, whether it be mm -hmm. in my goals as I work out, how I, if I choose to like shift something in my life, I'm gonna shift it, I'm gonna change it.